What would happen if you just stopped moving? Oh, please, don't even, you shouldn't even say that down here. No, no, we'd never stop. If we stop, then we're in a world of hurt because then basically we need forward momentum to keep our depth and also to keep our spread. Once we stop, the deflectors collapse in, the streamers sink, and it's, it's not good. It's worst case scenario. How do you navigate a ship that's effectively almost 20,000 feet long? Very, very carefully. With an operating cost of $200,000 a day, the Polarcus Nyla can't afford to stop moving. Two guard boats flank her at all times, one ahead of her path and the other far behind trailing her 12 massive streamers. Their job is to help ensure the safety of the 50 crew members on board, as well as her millions of dollars worth of equipment. On the bridge, Chief Officer Sunil keeps watch. One of the guard boats has spotted a cargo vessel about 10 kilometers away, heading straight for the Polarcus Nyla. Because we're particularly unique, towing seismic cables, which can be up to lengths of 10 kilometers, sometimes it's not always that clear to other vessels. Aquarius, Aquarius, Polarcus Nyla, come in please. Polarcus Nyla, this is Aquarius, over. Aquarius, the target is not answering us. Can you move in closer now, please, and start to fire flares? and get his attention. Roger that. There is no time to lose. In an extraordinary effort to get the unresponsive ship's attention, Sunil orders the guard vessel to shoot flares. Meanwhile, Second Officer James does the same from the bow of the Polarcus Nyla. Captain Johnny Johansson is notified according to protocol. Like every member of the ship, He's on call 24 hours a day. The situation is tense as the crew watches and waits. Polarcus Nyla, Polarcus Nyla, this is Mona, Mr. John, come over. Finally, and before the Polarcus Nyla is forced to take evasive action, the other vessel responds and changes course. His excuse was the volume was turned down on his radio, but I think that's a bit poor in terms of watch keeping. The incident is a dramatic example of the challenges the crew faces every day. In an industry worth billions of dollars, the pressure to deliver couldn't be greater, and downtime is the ultimate enemy. It's crucial that we have a reliable propulsion system that can keep us moving. A cargo vessel is crossing the ocean. Uh, if they have a technical issue, the the engine department can just stop and drift until they rectify the problem. We can't do that. We have to keep moving. And they do. The Polarcus Nyla has a reputation for efficiency that is unparalleled in her industry, and a reputation for gathering seismic data of surpassing quality and reliability. But as today's events show, at sea, earning such a reputation is easier said than done. Night falls, and all is calm on the bridge, but the watch will continue throughout the night and the next for as long as the Polarcus Nyla is at sea. And this vessel never stops. <laughs>